This summer started out with buying two Segways, going up to our cabin in Kingman, Arizona, where we did some maintenance, hung out with the kids, and had a good time. It was a great way to start out the summer. Uh, got to play with the, the boys, got to work on the cabin, and then we went and visited my brother up in Logandale, Utah, did some riding, some caving, then Vegas, we hung out with some friends, and uh, we went to this place called Area 15. It was totally psychedelic, a lot of fun. I definitely recommend going there. You need two days to get through this place. It's called Area 15 in Las Vegas, and they have all kinds of virtual stuff, and then they have indoor golf, just all kinds of really cool things there. We had a great time with the family and friends going to this place. Super, super cool. Been working on some videos with Morgan Motorsports. Then we sent my son off to Costa Rica where he got stuck in the airport for two days. Got my new Maverick R, one top team in Arizona for Cobble Banker. Spent more time with the kids and then had a lot more fun going out with uh, Justin Smith in his helicopter. We were flying over Lake Havasu and up through the Colorado River. It's really like flying through the bottom of the Grand Canyon in this area. It's so much fun. Uh, we flew over some boats. And it's always fun to see people that I know when we're flying over the boats. That's a lot of fun. But we started to head up to the sandbar and fly on these bluffs. And it's crazy because you could feel the back pressure from the bluff pushing against us and then so we hovered above this bluff for a few seconds and then bam we just dropped down to the river it's so much fun I had such a blast in this helicopter ride with Justin Smith and then of course we went over and uh, just kind of flew over boats it was, it was a blast and then we took the boys to Alaska we had a great fishing trip, and here you see we're pulling in my son's first fish that he caught there in Alaska. Yeah! Let's go! Great job, Grant. Even the bears were interested. Okay, we are coming upon the end of the tunnel. This tunnel is probably, I would guesstimate, probably, I don't know, three miles. We're here, Alaska! Arrived, Whittier, Alaska. That's a speed hump, not a speed bump. The other crazy thing is if you look off in the distance, there's like that little hut looking thing. It's actually a, a two mile tunnel and it's the only way to get in and out of this area on wheels. And it goes through that huge mountain. You drive through that huge mountain. Out here it's real touristy. You know, you can go fishing and do all that stuff. I guess this place was built in the Cold War era and the railroad took over and they just bring stuff in and out of here and that's Whittier, Alaska. And we just kind of stumbled upon it. All right, so we're still in the town of Whittier. I'm with Grant and Gunner. Say hi, Gunner. Hi. And uh, we just happened to find a tunnel that goes underneath the entire town. So we broke off from the group and we're doing a little bit of urban exploring, finding out where this tunnel goes. The sign said the 
tsunami evacuation route. Made it to the tower. Not quite right up to it, but we're just walking around the town. I'm standing outside at the stoplight. I have no concern of the stoplight turning green because we know when it's going to turn green. It will turn green at nine o'clock. You can come in every half an hour on the other side. And basically, the reason why they wait so long as to clear all of the uh, smoke and exhaust out of the tunnel. But while you're sitting here, there's these beautiful waterfalls and glaciers that you would normally have to take a boat ride to. And then you have Ryan. <laughs> Dude, Ted just netted two fish. <laughs> the thing's huge. Keep cranking, Gunner. Come on, bud. Let's go! Let's go! I'm at Big O Tires, and we're looking at a 1998 Ford Explorer. This truck already has a V8 and a cool roof rack. So we're gonna take the faded paint, put a wrap on it, and then we're gonna do some lift and suspension upgrades. All the brakes are good. So I've got it here at Big O to get all the parts, put those parts on and see how it turns out. All right, so I'm down here with Chris at Big O. He's been a huge help on finding all the correct parts and safe parts to lift this truck and I had to come pull the truck from him to get the wrap done and bring it back. So it's like almost done. We got some trim pieces to put on. So tell, tell, tell us about what we did, what struggles you had with this small build. Well, we did, a, uh, we did some torsion keys on the front and replaced some worn suspension components in the front. So we took a look at that first, made sure we were in good order for that. Did some rear shackles on it and then uh, some really nice brand new BF Goodrich KO3s, uh, along with some Vision uh, Manx 2 wheels. So they look great on there. What you can do to these Explorers without tearing all the suspension parts off. We gotta a little, do a little bit more work to the grill, but for the most part, this truck's done. It was already uh, in good condition, but, you know, mechanically before we started this build. And, uh, it's gonna be sweet. We were doing an F-150 build, but we're gonna make him haul the kids around. So we decided to move over to an Explorer. What are your thoughts, bud? I mean, lifts are amazing. That's the best part about a truck. Like, way better than the ones before. A little different from what we usually do, but still very exciting. Our 4th of July was spent on top of a roof deck 30 feet high on the island in Lake Havasu City at one of my listings. We had a wonderful 4th of July. Prescott, Arizona, otherwise known as Prescott. It's kind of like world renowned for its rugged mountains and awesome mountain biking. I brought my mountain bike out here this trip. But if you don't live here, you probably don't know about this lake. This is Granite Basin Lake. The backdrop is granite boulders. Today, we're gonna play in this water. Nice sandy beach. You think this sand looks nice and cozy and comfortable? It does feel good on the feet, but it is a little rough. It's kind of like a Pebble Tech pool. Uh, this is Granite Basin Lake. There is Granite Basin Campgrounds, and you have to go to the boat launch if you want to get to this specific area. This dam is like super old, and it leaks on the backside. I've been coming here since I was a kid. If you are familiar with this lake, when you are older than Generation X, you might realize that this lake is 
where Creep Show 2 was filmed. So I'm out here with Corey at Grand Basin Lake. And this guy behind him giving us a peace symbol. Night, these lily pads are teeming with frogs just hiding out underneath. They're probably hiding out underneath here right now. And there's lots of cattail on the shore. We used to love jumping in the cattail. And we're gonna head over to one of two rope swings. Check those out. Okay. All right, we're just getting the boats loaded up. Strapped on. And uh, we're getting rained out. As you can see, the clouds are moving in. It's kind of the ending to a perfect day. And to feel a Prescott monsoon again. Mm -mm -mm. That is what dreams are made of. What an incredible, beautiful day. I just, just unreal. I'm so happy right now. So this is where I'm staying while I'm at Prescott. Prescott. It's at our dome place. It's an Airbnb that we have here in Prescott. Got the speed car over here. This is what you call a Prescott monsoon. And it is the most beautiful thing ever. I don't want to get struck by lightning, but look at the clouds. Clouds are insane. Thunder's just rumbling like a your tummy when you're hungry. But this was actually my first house. My mom bought it for me. And she was renting it out for a long time. And now it's an Airbnb. And we just got some take and bake pizzas. Just got off the lake. And to be in an Arizona monsoon is just the most beautiful thing. It's starting to hail, actually. Woo! It's hailing. Ow! I just can't hit the pinky. Like, the rain doesn't even feel cold. It feels good. Got my buddy Woody. Buddy Corey. Some of my best buddies in the whole wide world. This is what the view looks like. Kind of like the Death Star. The shape. This is what the inside looks like. It's really cool. It's always good to hang out with your old high school buddies. We did end up going on a ride, but these guys made me sing karaoke first. It was so embarrassing, but a lot of fun. We're at Morgan Motorsports. He said he had something to show me. He's gonna breed some new life. So I'm walking out here and I already caught a glimpse of it and but I want to see it now. I'm, I'm from here to there, a lot of memories and I'm just like in awe right now. Look at this thing. Nearing the end of summer, we headed to Playa del Carmen in Cancun. Did some exploring in the jungle. by far has become one of my favorite places to go visit. The beaches are amazing, the atmosphere is incredible, and there's so much to do there. It's so much fun. My wife and I broke off from the group and we headed to Tulum, which is a ancient architectural pyramid site and with so much Mayan history, it's just so insane to, to go there and to recount all the things that they experienced during those times and how they kept track of time and seasons and harvests and things of that nature. Uh, the architecture, the animal life, it was so cool. And I definitely want to go back here and learn more. And this uh, fortress is built right on the ocean. I hope you guys made it through the whole video. Now you know what I've been doing all summer, why I haven't been able to drop a lot of videos. But I've got a ton of videos that I'm currently editing. And uh, so stay tuned for more UTVA content. Thank you for joining me on my summer trips. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.